<laughs> before you say anything. Uh, before, just, just know that it's live. <laughs> well, I think it's live. Let's wait the 30 seconds to see whether it's actually live. You're on the Twitch channel watching, right? Just to make sure. Uh, yep, I am. Nice. Um, looks like it's buffering or something oh, on my end. Great. So. Perfect. Well, uh, I'm just going to talk and assume that people can hear us. Um, hey, everybody. This is our totally error-free, excellent uh, Twitch session where we absolutely, you know, thought ahead about everything that could possibly go wrong, and then, uh, then it went wrong. <laughs> 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 that's okay. It doesn't matter because it's Friday, right? Uh, that's my theory. Um, also, because uh, it's ten minutes. What's the big deal? Um, I, I'm just going to keep talking until you tell me that we're not actually live. Uh, this is a first live stream of Storm Wars. It's a new card game uh, on Congregate and on several other networks. And we're going to talk to you today about this game, why it's great, uh, and uh, let me just introduce myself. My name is George. Over there you have John Paul across the screen from me. What's up, guys? We could call you JP, though. I think that in the forums, everybody Most wants people. me to refer to you as RN Jesus. Thanks to your that, beard. That's, uh, that's acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, JP told me that he would uh, join the stream only if he was paid in crystals, uh, which I think he means gems. Don't worry. I, yeah, that's what I meant. And I, I, I only would want one. <laughs> How generous. <laughs> one, one, hundred. Right, thousand. <laughs> per, per minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's our premium currency in our game. Uh, anyhow, uh, we're longtime uh, card game players and card game developers. Actually, we've had uh, some other projects you may have seen and may know about. We won't really go into the details about those things uh, just yet, uh, or really at all on this stream because it's not relevant. Uh, but we do have uh, quite a bit of experience between us on different card games, and so part of what we want to do today is talk to you about why Storm Wars is different, why Storm Wars is great, uh, and you know uh, what you can expect from this game, both in terms of where it's going to go and in terms of how the mechanics work and how the strategy works. And then we might actually play with the content a little bit and actually uh, show you some stuff. How does that sound? Yep, that, that, that sounds about right. Um... Here, I'm just going to quit because I'm, I'm having trouble picking up the stream just to double check that we're all okay audio and video wise. Uh, can I just. On this stream, it's not relevant. But we do have. Okay. I just heard myself. Don't worry, I muted you. <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> uh, you got the memo. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Can I just uh, query the, the chat room? Can you guys uh, see and hear us okay? I and think uh, that, uh, people are. I'm. I'm actually watching the congregate chat. If you guys want to talk to me directly, you can talk to me in the congregate chat. If you want to talk to JP directly, you can talk to him in the Twitch chat. Ask us any questions you want as we go along. And later on the stream, we may. Uh, we might have a guest appearance. Uh, I don't want to promise anything. It will depend on the availability. Uh, but um, uh, for reference, uh, my user handle is Sir Valmont. Uh, people on congregate know me pretty well been there for years and uh, now I'm becoming part of the dev team on Storm Wars itself, uh, handling design and some other things. So if you guys want to ask uh, any questions about that, please feel free. Uh, JP is also a card game dev uh, who is now contributing his spare time to this project. Uh, yep, purely volunteer basis, although I'm... Uh, <laughs> also a player, <laughs> right? Also a player. Uh, In-game, uh, I'm Camson with a K-H. Uh, not very highly ranked or anything, so I won't be offended if you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, but you'll be banned. You'll be banned. Uh, I'll be ba you won't be offended, I, I, but you'll ban. No, I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know who I am? Ban. <laughs> oh, you're using a Luther deck? Ban. Oh, you think a Mario has a singular? Ban. <laughs> uh, hate uh, that's that actually card. the best solution hate that for card. singularity. Yeah, I hate that card so much, too. And yet, I love it. Anyway, we'll stop uh, being I, I uh, silly here. I need to get some um, counterspell to counter that uh, that singularity. I really we hate it. have to work on how counterspell works. Anyway, let's talk about the game. So uh, this is Storm Wars. Uh, it's browser-based. It's built in Unity. You guys can play it uh, pretty much anywhere. Um, right now it's on Congregate. Uh, we might go to Steam. We're on Facebook. Uh, but really where this is going to go is it's going to go mobile. And uh, why can it go mobile? Well, because it's a casual game. It's a game where you can play games very quickly. 
Uh, and that really differentiates it from a lot of other card games, um, the casual style. Uh, and yet, I'm always a little bit reticent when I, I read or hear about casual games because I kind of feel like, well, maybe that means there's not a lot of strategy. Uh, but that's not the case here. There's, there's quite a bit of strategy, and strategy is actually unique uh, even within card games. So uh, we'd love to explain why that is. Um, how have you found it so far, JP, as a relatively new player? Uh, well, the I mean, like you said, it's a casual game, but uh, that means it's fairly easy to get into. So for me, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm in my mid 30s. I don't have a lot of time, so this was very easy for me to get into, and also very easy to get get hooked on. So I've been playing for a couple of weeks. <laughs> so, so despite not having uh, a lot of time. Well, you know, I mean, hooked on means I play regularly. So, I, you know, I, I log in every day. It's got all the right incentives to log in. You know, it gives you little, little uh, bonuses uh, for logging in every day. There's plenty of stuff, like regular stuff to do on the daily. Um, so daily quest type stuff, like go to the Coliseum, get your gems. Uh, there's a PvE content, which is great for my style of play because I like to kind of get my feet a little wet on PvE before I... Um, you know, start matching uh, my decks against other players. Uh, so all in all, I I've liked it quite a bit. Uh, there's a, a good range of different factions. In this case, I guess, um, uh, as well as factions, a really good range of different heroes. And, you know, we can talk all about that because that feeds right into the strategy you were talking about before. Yeah, I think that's the most unique aspect, right? I mean, each deck has a hero to it and a deck of cards that sit behind it. And the hero has a special skill that's actually, it affects the game uh, pretty strongly. And so, at least in my case, the strategy that I use is I have a lot of different decks that have different heroes that run those decks. And obviously the deck build is a little bit different. And I'm gonna choose what deck to play based on what my opponent's deck is. And since it's a casual and fast game where everything is automated, I might play, you know, 10 games in a row, 20 games in a row, very rapid fire, and then the strategy for me is how do I build my decks and what decks do I choose in what situations. We can actually go through some of the decks that I have built here. I have about nine of them, something like that, um, and uh, uh, actually see what I'm talking about firsthand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... What else? What did I want to say? I, I'm uh, reading the, the Twitch chat a little bit, and uh, people are eager for us to get into some more kind of um, uh, more advanced topics, if you will. So, Please um, ask. I, I, yeah, I don't know what uh, what you had in mind for the day. Uh, some people brought up uh, a couple of topics we could tackle, such as uh, card balancing, expansions, uh, future um, kind of roadmap, where the game's going. We can uh, kind of take our pick, but what did you have in mind for today, George? Well, so the, the, I think we should run the gamut. I think we should start just by saying there's a lot of content in this game, even though it's fairly new. Uh, we have PvE, we have PvP, we have clans or crews, as we call them, in other, in other words, groups of players that play against each other, like guilds in, in most games. Uh, and we have daily competitions and tournaments, including drafting tournaments. So I'd like to maybe show a little bit of those things, but really the first thing to show you is just how the game actually functions. Uh, so um, I have a bunch of decks pre-built. Uh, I'm just going to the campaign map here, which is this lovely, look at this, I'm gonna zoom out. Uh, this is pretty much where you play your quests. You can drag around this uh, island here and go to the different uh, nodes, the different places that you visit and uh, just you know, click on a quest. I might click this one right here. See my little ship moves to it. You can read the story and, uh, and then be on your merry way fighting. So this is obviously a typical PvE context and I will just show you what a battle looks like. As soon as I hit start mission, I've already selected my deck. The game's gonna play out uh, automatically. This is the coin flip to see who goes first and then the opponent is up here, I'm down here. Our cards are going to play each other automatically. The mechanics are automatic. So again, it seems very casual, right? I mean, if you were playing on your phone, you would literally only have to select a few things and then the, the game would play out in front of you. But it's important to actually watch what's happening so that you know how to build your deck better next time. Uh, and if you yeah, that's, lose, that's actually, you, uh, that, that, you can try again on a different deck. Say again? Yeah, that, that, I was going to say, that's actually something I, I wasn't expecting. Is uh, Initially, I thought, oh, well, this is you know casual enough that I could just kind of... like. Hit, hit play or hit whatever fight, um, pick a fight and then just let it go and I'll come back in a little bit and see if I won or lost. And I did that a little bit and then I realized that 
I started losing uh, over and over. I was like, why, why the hell am I losing? And then I realized that to actually watch the, the fights so, to figure out. Yeah, and, it, and I think it, it really, really helps. Um, I mean, uh, it really helps. I mean, it's absolutely necessary after a certain point uh, in terms of um, you know skill level to um, uh, see how the how the battles progress because it definitely informs um, how you tweak your deck and you know um, you know which heroes you select, which cards work well together, uh, why you lost, all that stuff. Absolutely. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and so. Um we can talk about a little bit more of the strategy uh, in detail uh, as we give you some sample fights. I'm sitting here in the arena where I can play a random selection of other players. These refresh every few minutes. Uh, and I can see these images here are the hero that they're using in their deck. There are, I think, 18 heroes in the game right now. So I'm literally going to choose what deck to use to fight against these players based on the hero that I see in their deck because I can sort of guess what kind of deck they're playing and I have decks that counter those things well. Um, in any event, uh, do, go ahead. Do you have a, do you have a favorite uh, hero, uh, George? Is, is, is there like such a thing? Because when I first uh, approached the game, when I was like, you know, just like a week into it or whatever, I thought, oh, well, you know, who's going to be like my go-to hero? Who's going to be the guy that like kicks everybody's butt? Um, and um, I think I'm coming to the realization there, there's kind of no such thing. Um, as much as I wish there was, because... <laughs> well, it's, but, you know, I mean, you know Rochambeau, it's like rock, paper, scissors. Certain heroes are better yeah. against, against others, and then those heroes are better against others still, who are better against the original heroes. It, it, it just has to do with card game mechanics, uh, rushing tactics, spam tactics, which are similar to rushes, or as opposed to aggro tactics, as opposed to stalling tactics, as opposed to defensive tactics, control tactics, so on and so forth. Um, there's a fairly typical... Uh, Equilibrium, and we have a very, very active uh, sort of community that talks about uh, the metagame uh, every day. And, and so, when there are things that we can see are too strong or too weak, we will make adjustments. And I think we've done a pretty good uh, job of balancing it so far. So, just to give give an example, uh, here I have a couple of players who are using this hero. You can see uh, sort of a knight uh, in armor. This hero is called Luther. And he has a special ability where he grants a shield, which is impenetrable every turn to a random unit. So it's a fairly defensive deck, but it's also fairly slow. He's also not a hero that does a lot of damage to your, uh, to your cards. Uh, most heroes actually will damage your cards directly. So I like to rush against this hero. So I'll give you an example of that. We have these uh, one great ability to, uh, that is afforded you in Storm Wars is you can use hotkeys. I can just literally type the number of the deck I want, so I, I just pressed 8 and I loaded my 8th deck, which is a rush, and I will play against this deck here. I'm using an elf hero, you can see down towards the bottom of the screen, all that was there on the left as well, who summons elementals every turn. So because she's summoning something, really every other turn, in addition to the cards on my deck, I'm going to have a lot more cards than the opponent, so that's an effective rush. They're obviously going to be weaker than his cards. But uh, I should, you can see I already am constantly having a material advantage here. I'm also using uh, several spells uh, which give me the advantage. There's a spell called Singularity, which we discussed earlier, that clears the entire board. So uh, because it clears the board, every so often I get to reset and have the starting advantage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can see, I mean, it's, this is not close. <laughs> Even though he has a very strong deck and a very strong hero, uh, just just by dint of the fact that I've used good deck strategy to counter him. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you you stand corrected, George, because Agus Agus withstand six damage. It's not actually impenetrable. Oh, thank you. Was that somebody who corrected me in the chat, or is that, that you? Yeah. Me? Well, I I could have said it too, but it was actually Nero Virgil eighty seven. So <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Uh, <laughs> yes, I mean, there's I, actually I, a hidden I wanted, contest I wanted to during point this live stream to correct us as often as possible. It's very simple. And and not very difficult either. It's also not very difficult. Yes, thank you. Please don't correct our grammar because John Paul will lose that battle. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there were some people who were asking me uh, whether you were Dutch earlier. Would anybody in the chat like to guess John Paul's nationality? I'll give you a clue. It's not Dutch. It's not Dutch, I am, no. I am Dutch. It's very different. Well, half, half Dutch. I am not half Dutch. I am like, yeah, I'm half Dutch. Well, in your, in your, 
Like, I have the Dutch nationality. In, 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 your, in your eating out habits, certainly you stingy guy. <laughs> then I'm always half Dutch by definition. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that uh, that one, that joke was not set up. That was completely generic. <laughs> Uh, we are masters at the at the improv. <laughs> okay, let's be masters at showing this game so people Go for don't it. hate us. <laughs> uh, yes, I have uh, I have the guess of French, which is wrong, uh, in chat here. Uh, okay, so um, there you said there were some more advanced questions. Uh, maybe let's talk quickly about where we're going with this game, which is uh, yeah. I think people are interested in uh, you know like kind of next expansion what kind of cards that might uh, involve or what kind of themes because I think at least one way that I look at the at the at the game and the cards are, are in terms of themes and uh, what kind of new themes that, that you can introduce in terms of um, deck strategy. Sure, uh, that's a great question and we're always adapting the mechanics based on the current metagame so uh, you know we have a concern uh, and we track usage of different cards we always have a concern not to have the game just revert into a rush, entirely a rush game, because, uh, you know, with this type of, with this set of mechanics, it's very easy for rush to dominate. Um, if you have cards that only take three turns to come out as opposed to nine, then, uh, you know, they tend to dominate. Uh, so we're looking at mechanics to sort of slow down decks, uh, mechanics to validate some of the larger, heavier cards, including the rarer cards, which are legendary, which are often very slow. Um, that's just a general statement about the mechanics. In terms of the expansion, we are uh, currently building an expansion. Uh, it will be a next set of cards. It will be the same size as the Dragon's expansion, which is our current expansion. Uh, it will be distributed across all the factions. It will have a lot of new mechanics. Um, and those mechanics will play very well with the current metagame. Uh, there will be some reinforcement of uh, old deck types. Uh, there will probably be uh, at least a creature in every type, uh, you know, whether it's a wolf or an imp or a, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, a, a rabbit? Can we have more rabbits? We do not need uh, more rabbits. We have plenty of rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> we might have too many rabbits. Uh, and, uh, thank you for asking. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's probably I, I a couple weeks. A, we're, we're just about to order the art, and that usually is the delay that takes a few weeks. So, um, Ooh, the art. Yes, the mm. art's always very good. Uh, I don't know if you realize it, but the art in this game, you can see some of the art on the side of the live stream here to the left and to the right of the actual uh, broadcast. The art's very, very high quality. and yeah, Every little card art that you see is actually a huge uh, high-res image. It's pretty beautiful. I'm hoping that we have a way to share those eventually. Yeah, well, I mean, that's one of the big draws uh, that I always had as far as card games, you know, when I started out with Magic the Gathering back in the 90s. So I, I'm a real fan for, uh, for the card art. And um, yeah, I, I like what I see uh, in Storm Wars, absolutely. It's very pretty. Unfortunately, be, because my laptop doesn't work as well, I have to turn the settings down to the lowest. Otherwise, it kind of st tries to overheat and then... Disappointing. <laughs> yeah, but it still looks great. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of different graphical modes, and you know, we, uh, we want to make the game as accessible as possible. That, that's part of the convenience of uh, you know, a, a casual game, is it should be accessible. Uh, and the UI, I think, makes it accessible as well as the settings. So I'm actually here in, the, in my crew. Um, I'm part of the Valhalla crew, uh, which is one of the top crews, you might notice. <laughs> oh, I, I'm in uh, Nippon Pon. Are you in Nippon Pon? Uh, is that yeah, Japan yeah. Pan, basically? It's Japan Pan. That's, I mean, if you, really if you transliterate it, I guess. Can Pan, you um, Japan Pan. Never mind. I'm, I'm in... I'm in <laughs> I'm in Nippon Pon, and uh, I think this last season we came in 17th? 15th or 17th? I can't remember. You uh, uh, are proud of that. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I, actually, hey, I actually receive a lot of flack because uh, as a dev uh, who sits in a top clan, people are always like, oh, that's so unfair. Even though I can guarantee everyone that my clan members hate me because I basically am not active. I basically lose fights constantly. I have the worst defense deck. Everybody beats me. And uh, I basically tell them nothing about what's coming. So we'll see. I might uh, have to drop out of this crew if people keep getting angry. Uh, but. So, George, we, we have some requests for you to attack people with your crew. I was uh, about to do that. So you see there is attacker crew here. So I would like... <laughs> look, uh, look at the first one that appears on the list. It's none other than uh, Nippon Pon. What a coincidence. No, no don't attack Nippon Pon. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a vote for... You are merely a Nippon Pon in my game. <laughs> 
Go and go you, and. Uh, no, I'm gonna just use my admin powers to respell the last part of no, your name. T A W N. So you were deep there, on the law. <laughs> I think that would be there's appropriate. There's a vote. There's an. Uh, uh, there's uh, a vote. Oh, there. there's a vote. Yeah. What chat there's chat a, are you reading? Uh, the the Twitch chat, <laughs> which is the best chat, by the way. Um, <laughs> everyone wants you to attack Phallic, which I think is a great. They want me to attack Phallic. Oh. A great. A, Am a, I allowed a, to a read target. their name on the air? This is ridiculous. Phallic. Yeah, I. Yeah, should should I attack him? Really? Yeah, All attack right. Phallic. Attack. Here we go. <laughs> the attack has been. We are now attacking them. Okay, battle six left. So when you're when you're fighting another crew, uh, you're fighting another set of players, about twenty players, and each of them has assigned a defense deck. So they've chosen one of their uh, decks to be used when you attack them. And so you hit the battle button here, you get a random other player, you can't change who it is, you can see their hero, and you're going to have to sort of guess what to use. Now this is going to be pretty tough to beat. At the moment, uh, Zhu, who is this demonic heroine, has a lot of strong decks, including an imp deck that's pretty hard to beat, so I'm just going to uh, use my own fast demon deck and see if I can beat this person. Shall we see? So you think Zhu is a, um, is a good imp, uh, imp deck hero? Uh, Zoo is, is pretty strong. Yeah, I think she's the best for him. Keep in mind that your hero, if the hero matches the faction of the cards in your deck, uh, gives them a bonus. So every single card in your deck will have one extra life. I'm fighting a player named Gavilan, whom I know uh, and have known for a while. Shout out to Gavilan. He is a very, very strong and skilled player, so this may be difficult. It looks like I got pretty lucky in the beginning in terms of my draw, so, so far so good. Uh, but you're never out. you should never count yourself in or out until the last minute. But I, I did win that one. You can see that when I play against Zoo, I use fire elementals in my deck. Fire elementals are immune to fire, and Zoo has a fire attack, so it's a fairly hard counter. If she tries to use her attack up against them, she wastes it. Um, this is the type of strategy that I use when building decks. So, sounds like that would be very effective against Gorm as well, right? It would be very effective against Gorm, and it is. Exactly right. Um, although for Gorm, I tend to use Murheen, who is a hero and that heals, because Gorm sets all of your troops on fire, and I like to heal that status before it has a chance to run rampant. Uh, mm -hmm. In any event, um, I'm now fighting a Luther deck, and I'm going to use that same uh, Rabbit Rush that I used earlier to see if I can win this one. So you see, you sort of step through all of these things uh, as you play the game. I actually have nine decks currently built. I'm happy to talk to everyone about what they are if you find it interesting to know, have some insight into how I think about this game. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, what do you do against car decks? I think I've asked you this before, but you know, I, I, I tend to lose a lot against car. Yeah, so Carr is a spider lord. One of our factions are spiders. And uh, Carr is, uh, you can see this hero right here, Prince of Val, actually this card here, the second one that my opponent is playing right now is a spider. He's very strong. There's another one, of him, a copy of him at the end here. Uh, this is a spider lord off to the right of the screen. Her name is Pavuk. In any event, uh, Carr is a spider hero that corrodes your troops, which means it takes away their special abilities. Uh, and he also has a fairly strong area attack. The best way to beat Carr, honestly, is to uh, do a few things. Um, it's to use uh, troops that have the defense against wind damage, because his damage is wind. Uh, it's to use troops that don't use or rely on special abilities, but maybe magical abilities, because he can't corrode those. And I actually like using Merheen again, who is the, uh, the healing hero, because she can heal the corroded status before it has a chance to do anything. So I'll show you my Merheen deck. Hop into my decks here. It's uh, deck number three. You can see that I have a lot of uh, sort of heavy drain and shielded cards in here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's go to view. Mm -hmm. This is my Murheen deck. So you can see cards like some of the dragons, which are very slow, but do area damage that's based on magic attacks. A card cannot corrode that. I have cards that drain and therefore heal themselves, like Grotesque in here. And I have, oh my god, Grotesque. Okay, so it's so. Pretty it's so Sickening, and I, in, a, in, a, in a good way, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, sickening in a good way. Okay, I'll put you on that. And uh, it's like you know, like saying it's the illest. It's oh ill. It's, it's sick. It's, it's bad, like Michael Jackson bad. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, 
Yeah, you know how he looked really bad at the end of his life? Wait. What? <laughs> I don't want to de- I do not want to debate with you. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna win I'm not gonna win a debate against John Paul. We we'll, won't we'll get into that. Yes, we won't get into that. I almost took a debating class uh, in college, but uh, but uh, somebody talked me out of it. Really? I once had to pay for an argument. <laughs> That's all right. You know what? <laughs> We're not going to use ridiculous Monty Python references. Uh, I already posted one. Do you not want to see the deck that I'm putting up in front of you? Yeah, okay, okay. No, no, do it. All right, so I have a bunch of paladins because they heal. That can't be corroded by car. I have Sela in here. Sela is a magic user that uses Zap. That can't be corroded by car. So this is generally a deck that I use against heroes like Anasi and Car and Gorm, uh, heroes that have a a, uh, status damaging effect. So as you can see, uh, as I was saying before, I literally have nine decks. I can tap through them just by hitting the various number keys. You see them changing here on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I have the list of all of my cards. And uh, this is quite literally how I am able to beat a lot of other players because I have decks that will stack up well against any of their decks. This, for example, is a deck that uses card as my hero. You can see in the top left. And this is an anti-air deck, so it has a lot of things with static field, which is an ability that actually will damage the opponent if they use uh, an, a, an air attack against you, which is what, for example, Eliana, who's a popular hero, uses. Hmm. On the other hand, I might actually use Eliana myself, as you can see in this deck, when I'm fighting against the Mario, who is that hero that I was using earlier who summons a lot, because she uses many arrow attacks that hit constantly per turn three or four times, and they can take out spam meaning a lot of rushed creatures onto the board, uh, like, for example, the Elementals of Amerio. Because she's summoning those every turn, she tends to have a lot of creatures on the field at once. This is a good counter. Anyhow. So, uh, George, I'm, out of curiosity, are you uh, are allowed to spill any beans as far as uh, types of new cards that we can expect to see or, or new abilities that we might be able to see in the, in the expansion? Well, you know, we are quite literally in the process of deciding what the mechanics are going to be. We have a whole bunch of spreadsheets where we determine these things. Um, I think that I can give away one uh, one mechanic, which I think is really cool, that we're definitely mm-hmm. going to use, uh, which actually was uh, created by a user and which we've gotten off the forums. Uh, so that's actually a hint to all our users. You should post your ideas in our forums, and uh, we will occasionally put them right into the game. I'm going to open the forums for you right now as I speak. You can see what I'm talking about. These are the forums over on Congregate, and we have feature requests at the top, we have card game and balance thread. There are threads about new cards, so please contribute to these uh, as you see fit. But the, the skill I'm talking about is called backstab, and it's a skill that uh, any creature that has backstab, if it's in stealth mode, is going to deal double damage while it's in stealth mode. So we're oh, gonna nice. have a bunch of cards that have that. We may have a spell that gives backstab to a bunch of your creatures, so there's going to be a lot of synergy there. And we ha- I'll also have a bunch of skills that involve stealth uh, as well. It's going to be a, an interesting tactic. Uh, for example, yeah. we have a, a card that's going to have the skill Hide, which is going to be just like Stealth, except it's going to re-stealth itself every turn automatically. So that's two skills huh. that I've given away. So just as an example. Uh, okay. Um, we do have a question. I have a couple more. Well, no, if, a couple, you, if you have questions question. in general, and we'll answer what we can on this live stream, but there's also this FAQ that you might want to check out on the forums. Uh, it's sort of off to the right because of the way my screen capture is working right now. But... Um, Click into okay. that and you'll be able to uh, read up on this. Uh, I do do have a question from uh, Nero Virgil. Sure, um, so he, he wants to know what's um, uh, what's the the deal with the latest crew rewards or an update about like the six hundred plus skull cards. So he wants to know what they are. <laughs> well, what they are, or well, he he didn't specify. I think if you just talk about it, he'll be happy. <laughs> What, what is the question? What are the crew rewards? Well, uh, let, me, let me open that on my screen. You can see that well, one of the advantages I, I, I think... of being in a crew is that as you go and as you earn points, you uh, earn the ability to buy some of the crew rewards cards, which are these unique cards that are generally pretty niche, but also pretty powerful. And yeah. uh, the, the latest one that's been revealed, if you've uh, unraveled 550 uh, skulls, which is the crew currency, is this guy called Niven Stoutbow, or Niven, depending how you want to pronounce it. He's an elf uh, that has a couple of attacks and snipes the enemy, uh, a card that I really like. He's pretty powerful as a legend. You can upgrade all of that as a legends. 
Whoa, what, George, what did you just... Wow. Did you, that one, no, that one there was rip? A truck what was that? That has decided that it is going to pull down the alley to the side of my office. <laughs> Good luck to that truck. That's a pretty narrow alley. <laughs> if you hear some sort of crash, uh, anyway. Okay. Are you so hearing it back up? Isn't that lovely? I, yeah, I mean, it's just like a, like a lovely noise in my ear. Oh, boy. You're welcome, everyone on the live stream. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. That sounds like a helicopter. Even better. I uh, can't wait till the ambulance. Uh, well, what, right. Wait. So the so question what, is, what car is at 600 skulls? Really? Am I uh, yeah, I, I think. Well, I mean, I don't mm. know if that's appropriate to give away, but um, uh, when when are those? Um, are those in the game? Is that something that uh, well, there are, is just there are some with, of these that are in the game that you can actually uh, preview in um, in fighting some of the campaign quests on the Dragon Isle. So if you go to your map okay. here and you drag, there's this island, you might not have noticed these islands called the Dragon Isles. There's some quests up here. Uh, and in these quests, you'll fight some PvE in which they actually use some of the hidden crew cards that nobody's accessed yet. So you'll be able to see cards like Pestilence and uh, okay. Melee Rainmaker, uh, who are some pretty decent cards. Um, let me think quickly what else there might be uh, coming. I don't know if I can recall any of these to mind uh, to spoil for you. Uh, I'll think on it. I'll think on it. Oh, there's Constructor Derek, and he's also a, a dark elf who. Uh, I happen to see a card. Dark. I happen to see a card today, which was I think it was in someone's deck. So I'm sure it's not one of the ones you're talking about. But it was. Uh, I thought it was. I, it was the first time I'd seen it. It was an epic. I can't remember what it was called. But he had like this ranged attack where he would uh, cause. It was like uh, like those confused mages in the Dark Elf faction, except it was ranged and it was an epic. Yeah, that's called Irith, and that's actually one of the most recent uh, crew cards. Yeah, Irith that was is probably how it's properly pronounced. It's, it's this extremely. This is at the 500 uh, skull uh, level, so it has confused ray, right? and it actually has I, two of them. Yeah, I, needless to say, I lost that that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strong card. Uh, you know, that's the <laughs> I, I got I got completely crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm used to it. So you're, used you're to banning it. that person, right? No, I don't really see. And this is actually, uh, I should probably pay more attention to the names of the people that I that I fight because if I was more diligent about it, I'd know, you know, who was using what kind of deck. But um, okay. Uh, but yeah, I tend to be uh, quite a bit more casual, so I just I just go in a bit blind, and sometimes I lose and sometimes I win. But you know, it's it's, <laughs> it's fine that way. Uh, well, that's that's excellent. Um, I uh, I assure you that it will keep happening. I actually just popped up here for a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, don't worry about it. You'll improve, John Paul. Don't worry about it. Yeah. No, no, it's good. It's all, it's all good fun. You luckily um, we didn't attack the pon so you're, one, you're on one, one that. question that that I that I did have is when I was checking your uh, forum post where you've posted the swag link. Yes. And maybe you can tell people about the swag at one point. But um, there's like a Sir Valamont card. <laughs> is that like a real? Is that a real? No, thing? that was fan art. We haven't made a Sir Valamont card. Oh yes. man, because yes. that, that looked like like a great card. Yeah, I mean, I, I card. I'm putting my my vote in for a Sir Valamont card. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't really require any more vanity. Uh, the, incre <laughs> the incredible natural looks here are already. <laughs> the ego is. I don't need to stroke it. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, sure, if people wanted Sir Valmont card, I'm sure we can convince ourselves to do something like that. But I think it would be nice if we were going to go that route, and this is totally an if, and it would be in the future if we were going to go that route. I think I would, at least my personal preference would be to try to. Try to get some some more of the player community involved in that. It would be nice maybe to honor a few of our, our loyal players with that type of a thing, or have them help design of something, or, or so on. Um, so I mean, I don't need to be honored. <laughs> so <laughs> so George, is is somebody now vacuuming y your office, or what's going on there? That's just I mean, that's some hydraulic <laughs> pump in the truck outside. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're building some kind of amusement park. Uh, if you start hearing a <laughs> roller coaster, or God knows what. Yeah, you I should no tell idea. them that, that, that they can Maybe be used be uh, playing Storm out there. We'll see what sounds <laughs> come out of uh, I assure you it's not like some guy making noises. Uh, anyway, I, I actually have uh, recently done some, uh, some research here. and um, Actually, you know, let, let me tell you what. 
maybe what we can do is we can uh, we can kick John Paul off the call, and we oh, can okay. uh, we can get uh, Storm Wars creator, assuming he wants to, to make a guest quick guest appearance. What do you think about that, John Paul? You should definitely do that. But before you do that, um, Nero Nero Virgil, who's been very um, uh, very helpful today, first of all in correcting you, um, uh, is is saying that we should uh, motivate people to invite friends to the game. I, I assume that we he should. means, or he or she, or some kind of uh, like incentive system whereby uh, if you invite people, maybe you get a little bonus and gems. Or uh, we already something. have that on Facebook, and we will try to implement something like that eventually on Comrade and so on. But look, the advantage to having more people in the game is it's good for everyone. If we can generate revenue, if we can generate a, a player base, it's good for everyone. It means we'll be able to make more expansions, we'll be able to make more cards, we'll be able to make more content, we'll be able to do that more quickly as well. Part of the reason that sometimes the game drags on, and this is true of any game, especially a new game, is that we don't have that much bandwidth in terms of technical development. I mean, I'm not somebody that does programming. The only guy that does programming is pretty much the guy who hopefully will make a guest appearance shortly, the creator of the game. And there's only so much one person can do. Uh, you know, we're very focused on moving to mobile. Uh, in the meantime, it's very difficult for us to build more content. Luckily, there's tons of content in the game already, and we are making a new expansion. But what's going to help us is more players. Um, mm -hmm. It just is going to enable us to create more things. So, please do invite your friends. Um, I'm trying to invite people on Congregate. Go talk in the Spellstone chat. Go talk in the you know Rise of Mythos chat. Get the other card players over here. Uh, but is it is there like an like if I uh, can I get like bonus currency if I uh, if you can if prove if you are a player who can prove to me that you've invited some of your friends and they're loyal players I'll find a way to get you some free gems how's that well I th I think what the suggestion is is to is is to automate that somehow is there a way to do that <laughs> well we've already have that existing on Facebook oh, actually for oh you advice. do okay okay and again. That's something that we may try to implement for Congregate. Uh, it's obviously okay. something that we don't want to be abusable. Uh, but, obviously. you know, again, our bandwidth is every feature that we add takes time. So, you know what? You can you can uh, grill uh, the creator of the game uh, <laughs> rather right, than me. Well, I'll, I'll, How's that I'll, for bow, I'll bow out. I'll bow out of this. <laughs> okay. um, but uh, right, John, thanks for having me. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having me on the uh, on the chat on the stream. JP, you're and, a great uh, co-host. His name is Camson <laughs> in game, K H A M S I N, and we're going to do live streams in general. And uh, it, when JP is available, he may uh, he may join us again. Uh, so that's right. Thank you guys that's for right. watching him, and I'm going to now pull uh, pull our special guest in. So see you, JP. All right, take care, guys. Peace. Here we are. Uh, let's see whether we get a response over here. Yeah. So, see you All right. Take care. Goodness gracious. Who do we have here? Howdy, can you hear me? I can hear you. Awesome. Hi, I'm Giannis. Okay. Might, Hi, I'm might I introduce uh, none other than the creator of Storm Wars, Storm himself. Uh, I don't have a drum roll queued up. I'm sorry. Yeah, no drum roll. Uh, that is that is in fact the one and only Jan Sanderson, not only the creator of Storm Wars, but actually the inventor of this genre uh, through the creation of Warstorm, to which this game ultimately is an homage. Uh, so please flood the chat with your questions. <laughs> How are you today? I'm oh, doing great. Uh, how are you doing? Well, uh, I had 10 pretty bad minutes between 12.30 and 12.40 uh, when I was trying to get the live stream to work and it wasn't working. But other than that, I'm doing well. <laughs> These things happen. Uh, so anyway, uh, Giannis, we have a whole bunch of questions on hand. Uh, people want spoilers. Uh, I guess it's to you if you would like to spoil, give some information as to what the next crew card is. Uh, the next crew card is a card called Raps and Taps. It's an orc card, and what it does is when it's in play, <coughs> uh, your opponent uh, hero will take double damage. It's a kind of a weak card, and it dies pretty easily, but if you get one in play at the right time, then you, know, you can really lay some smack down on your opponent. So it actually doubles all damage to the opponent's hero while in play. But, that's right, that but only is, one. It doesn't stack. Right. That is powerful. It sounds like it would actually uh, synergize pretty well with other orcs that are doing direct damage. 
Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, uh, okay, there you have it. Uh, please feel free to now uh, be very mad at me because you think it's overpowered before it even comes into the game, <laughs> as is usually the case. We're going to have another Gemini Imp situation. Oh my god. Uh, well, uh, hopefully uh, this will this will be a strategy that uh, people employ uh, in the future. Uh, wow, uh, there is actually quite a lot of chat happening in the uh, in the game chat here. Uh, does anybody have a question for Storm for in our last? I think we better have about five minutes left here in the stream. Uh, if not, I'm going to probably jump into some games here and uh, I don't know, maybe fight some more crew fights. Let's see here. Uh, there's a lot of love. I don't know about a lot of questions. Yeah, I don't see a lot of questions either. People were not prepared for this. Uh, well, in any event, let's go into our crew battles here. How much chance do you get to actually play the game these days yourself? Uh, actually, you know, I play it about a half an hour every day. I mean, I'm in a crew. I do my crew battles. Um, obviously, I test. I, I play a lot more on test than I do on live because I'm constantly, you know, fiddling with the mechanics as, the test server. as we add them. Um, but yeah, I, I unfortunately am not as hardcore as many of the players. So a lot of times, I don't find out about balance issues until. You know, obviously, people are up in arms about it, but I do read the forums every day. Uh, so everything that you write up there, I read. I don't obviously have time to comment on every message. Uh, I I try when I can, but yeah, I'm a little overloaded because, as George mentioned, I'm the engineer, the customer support, the <laughs> uh, Just I, a I, lot I, of hats. hats, many hats. So. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean. Um... I think that in general there's a, a pretty good culture so far of, of uh, response, and people are uh, definitely. Um, I think I think people are pretty happy with the fact that most stuff gets turned around quickly. But um, hopefully, there's a little bit of understanding with you know we can't fix everything instantly all the time. Uh, but yeah, do you uh, do you find uh, any particular hero to be your favorite? I'm just going to ask you the question, JP. Ask me. I found that hard to answer. Uh, yeah, I mean, every time I think I have a favorite hero, I find out that I lose a lot of battles with them. Uh, right now, I'm playing Emeriel, who I like a lot, uh, but yeah, she... I love her sense. art, to be honest. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah, that's why I like her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, right. No, I, I, the, the art was outsourced from a, a company in Ukraine that's done a fantastic job with card art overall. Right on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, I, I think at some point maybe we'll find a, a place to do it, maybe on forums or something, but I'd love to, uh, without giving it away, obviously, I'd love to show people uh, some of the higher def versions of some of the art, because some of it you can't, I mean, it, it already looks great on the cards, but some of it, if it's, you know, twice as big, you can really see the detail. Some of it's yeah, we fantastic. Can. We could certainly do it. Actually, the art pieces, the sources are gigantic, and they look fantastic. Um, obviously, because of the, the download size, you know, we have to compress that stuff, and I think it loses some quality, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we can certainly, you know, if, if the fans want to call out a few cards that they'd like to have the full screen art for, we could certainly post them. Uh, right on. Okay, well, I have a question for you, which I absolutely promise I'm not making up. Okay. <laughs> From the chat. When is he going to make a Sir Valmont hero or card? Yes, good question. Well done. Okay, I'm just yeah, kidding. That doesn't need to happen. Well, since you know George has been designing most of the latest cards, uh, I guess that's up to him. Right? <laughs> going to sneak one into your expansion. <laughs> Maybe I have to change the name just slightly. Sir Valmont. No, never mind. Uh, yeah, um, we uh, we will definitely uh, think about that. Uh, by we, I mean I will think about it and try to convince you on this end. It probably won't happen. But anyway. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, I think we're going to uh, wrap up pretty shortly here. Um, do we have uh, any general predictions? I, I mean, my, I, what I said is that we're uh, about to go into uh, production of the expansion. Is it reasonable to say that a few weeks out we might start uh, having these cards in game, or is it too early to tell? It's it's too early. Uh, it's largely dependent on you know the art, like you said. You know we have to obviously finalize the card list and, and get it ordered. Um, the guys that I outsource it to, they're very fast turning it around, and obviously I'll be building up the mechanics you know while we're waiting on the art. Um, right. And of course I'm also focused on trying to get a mobile version of this. 
Uh, I'd like to actually have Android up and running maybe in a couple weeks, a few weeks. So uh, plenty to do, obviously. Yeah. Be very busy. But okay. As soon, as soon as we possibly can, we'll have the expansion out. And we'll uh, keep people posted, I think, uh, yeah. as we go. Um, so lots to come. Uh, if you missed it, uh, Raps and Taps is an orc that doubles opponent hero damage and it's the next group card as uh, graciously spoiled by uh, our game <laughs> creator here. Uh, and uh, I think that's pretty much all we have for you guys today. But um, by all means, uh, leave comments uh, in our, our forums, leave comments in the uh, Twitch channel uh, on anything future you want to see. And we'll try to have a little bit of a regular live stream. Uh, JP and I will play through some games and we'll have some more focused, targeted streams where we talk about specifically about deck strategy, specifically about um, how to handle some of the content. And uh, who knows, maybe Giannis will make a future guest appearance as well. Uh, Absolutely. Any, any uh, famous parting words? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, thanks for playing, guys. It's been a great community. I'm really, uh, really happy with Congregate in general. Uh, you guys have really helped shape the game into what it is, and I really appreciate your feedback and, and support. I can only second that, and uh, you know, let's keep going to greater things. And uh, you know, I, I gotta echo what uh, Nero said in the chat earlier, uh, one of our players, which is that if you can invite your friends to this game, please do. If you can get more people into the game, please do. Um, a larger community, even just twice the size, just twice the size of what we have right now, uh, it goes miles towards uh, enabling us to expand the game to other networks and so on and so forth. And I think we're getting there, uh, but we do rely on the community for some of that. Absolutely. All right, guys. Uh, signing off. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye, guys. Take care. <laughs>